How do games affect your brain, and do they help or hurt? Let's find out. Brains. 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 Wait, this isn't The Walking Dead. Hey everyone, Pixel Monk here. Video games have often been associated with real life violence and anger. Dan play extremely violent video games. They seem to have trouble distinguishing between what is reality and what isn't. Yet there has been no conclusive scientific evidence to prove it. Score one, video games. So let's chop up those theories like Michonne chopping up zombies. <laughs> According to Horizon, there are four significant aspects of the brain that video games can affect. Motor function, visual abilities, brain growth, and keeping sharp. Games have been used to hone the skills of surgeons who have performed significantly better on surgical tests than those that didn't play. So let's play some Surgeon Simulator, and I'll be a world-class surgeon. Warning! Surgeon Simulator will not make you a real surgeon, so don't do it! The same technique has been applied for physical therapy to provide fun and healing. Try this test. Keep your eyes on the marked individuals. Now, if you play lots of video games, you'll have a much easier time identifying the marks in greater number. How well did you do? At Max Planck Institute of Human Behavior, a study was conducted where subjects would play Super Mario 64 DS and record if any brain activity occurred. The researchers discovered that the prefrontal cortex, right hippocampus, and cerebellum all showed stimulation. Brain games have been around for a long time like crosswords and Scrabble. These games have been shown to improve the mental state of everyone, especially elderly people. So much so, it increases working memory and attention span. So go tell grandma to stop knitting and play some video games with you. Obviously, much more research needs to be done, but so far it looks like gaming provides much more of a positive influence than a negative. What are your thoughts? Thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.